right, let's check this out. Let's actually zoom in. We don't need the mask. And let's go. Ba bam. Dun, da, da. And what is going to be the end? Ah, cool. I like this. I like the whole. Okay. I think in terms of pose to pose, you, right now you have a lot of hard stops. You, you're not quite out of the woods yet. I know it's a struggle. And I think that will be that's going to be the focus of all of this here. Was you have that I like the little ambient movement in the arms. That's all cool. And then you go forward. Watch out! Rip right there. It's a bit fast. That one. It's one of those where you are now off the ground with this and is suddenly accelerating. And it's just if you would go this fast, you would have to have already a bit more over this leg and holding this a bit longer with the foot roll so that this leg can actually push this way fast and right now it's you're moving fast and taking this off the ground at the same time and it just doesn't quite work and then you're stopping really abruptly so if i draw that line here it's like the onion skating here right and then you just stop this could barely work if it's a slower move from here to here but now that you have this so fast, you're going to have to ease in and stop or ease in, overshoot and come back. So watch out for that harsh stop. As you go forward, there's a little bit. You can see how the arm stays up here. And then you have a bit of a connected arm and head, chest drop there at the same time. Watch out. This is an overlap that's not super clean. I will keep that arm down and that one a bit higher. Or separation you know something like that or that or that or that, or that. that's fine too as an in between since you are in the apology aspect i would take that and either bring the arm a bit higher a bit lower so you don't have a tangent with the forearm in the, the pants there and then you go down and that's pretty okay here in real time though there's a slight feeling of this hits Pretty much the top and this hits or grabs at the same time Whoop, right there it's still a bit post to pose i like that you have a little bit of ambient settle there and then as you go up this is better because now you're going up bring this in and then this comes down that's probably your most successful moment through there but then what happens is that you go and then everything just stops look at your root it goes up and it's like, I'm, I'm framing through, hold on. Look at that, there's really not much going on. You can scrub and then you can start seeing some pixels moving. But as a whole, it really feels like we're going into this pose and stop. So that's a really strong pose to pose moment there. This, watch out. It's like the head and all this starts to move at the same time. Again, stronger offsets. I think in your case, you just have to really, really push for super strong offsets. Even though it would look silly and exaggerated, I think you just got to get your brain into that mode of offset, offset, offset. This moment works better because you have your head turn that stops while this overlaps and continues into this. So that's better. This is also really locked. This feels like an action. And then it starts moving. I think you can have a little bit of a ambient move or like a moving hold where maybe these goes up, these go up, and maybe like a slight lean over. And then again, watch out, you have the head turn, and then we freeze. Look at this. This section here. Dead, dead. Then we have arms and head moving all at the same time. It's subtle. I know that's super strong. But again, has this feeling of head and arms and body and stop. And now again, for a moment, we're we're pretty dead. It's not too bad. This one again is really strong. That move out and then hold. Look at this. I can again scrub through this section. There's not much going on. You would have a bit of a moving hold through there. Keep going a little bit, a little bit. Fingers come up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And then you can relax. This gets into that stiff aspect of it. Even though this moves back more, this arm. It has that feeling of arms, upper body, and head here moving as one. 
it just has the feel of it. I know the head is not super locked, but what it does have, it's two world space or IK or head align, whatever that control is called. Well, you can see that the orientation, rotation, it doesn't really change. It kind of stays locked. You might argue maybe it rotates down a bit, but that doesn't quite feel natural as, as like changing. Maybe like as he looks, right now you're doing fairly one axis. You would have a little bit of a lean over with a little bit of a Y change in the head. And again, we're locking here. Look at this. So locked. And then everything moves over together. There's no offset really. The only thing that kind of stays is the leg. But then again, we're going shoe pose, hold, 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 over. This is a bit of a boing wiggle. That's good. But then as we get into this, everything kind of moves up a little bit more here. There's a little bit of an offset there. But in real time, it just feels like, again, pose to pose, hitting this. Even though you hit arms and then the body continues to go down. It's ever so slightly post to post feeling when I, I know the route continues. But what adds to that is that moment of that hit and then recovery, a little overshoot there, and then lock. And then again, we're super locked instead of going down, up, or bounce down, up. What do you want to do? How much you want to exaggerate? And then again, we're going out where everything moves up, where at this point you could rotate just the head three frames, then maybe bring up the shoulders, and then one of the arms goes down, and then you get into at one point that pose and so on. That's good though, full extension and then coming together, that's nice. But that's my, the general um, feedback is that it's, just, it's more so than usual. I, it just has those sudden stops and locks. That's a new thing. And you really need to really just get into that headspace of just push, push your offsets. Even if it's not something you want to submit, just as an exercise, you can just send me one. I, I won't count it as a submission. And just really just exaggerate how much one arm is moving compared to the other, like or the whole thing, and only the head is moving, and then the chest, and then arms, and then body, and so on. You really have to like push yourself into just one exercise piece where it's like super exaggerated, one, two, three, four, and so on, where you really, really offset. Like you go through looks maybe or something like this, right? And just completely offset, and then you can go into one whatever it is like one and two and start overlapping right it's like right now it just you have every now and then an offset but then they bam stop and then there's nothing for a moment and then it continues pose to pose and i would i would practice something where it's first you have one body part and then you have another body part and then you have another body part and so on and then you start practicing where it's more like this one with a slight overlap with two a slight overlap into three and so on just, just kind of, I think you just need some muscle memory to, to get into that habit. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.